It's midnight. Like always, when we record. It's midnight oh, oh 07. <laughs> so let's talk about the nightmare of a movie that you picked. I picked it, I have no idea why. Fell asleep during to Oops. have nightmares. Yeah, it made me feel like I want to go to sleep and have some nightmares. This movie was a, a documentary with a lot of reenactments in it. About Where did we watch it? It was on it was Netflix. On Net, it's on Netflix if on you Netflix, want to watch yeah. it. Yeah, it's it, cool. It was somewhat interesting. It, yeah. It, it kind of... The re, the reason it could have been a half an hour long. Yeah. It, it could have been a five minute piece on 2020. Yeah, the reason that I fell asleep is because it was very... Not very, but it was early morning. It was mid-afternoon. No, it was like 11. It's early morning. Please agree with me that 11 is still early morning. Yeah. Until noon. At noon it's like, okay, morning is over. Now I can have brunch. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, a good brunch movie. Yeah. The Nightmare. Also, it changed places. Yeah. So On the silly side of my face. It was one of those movies where it starts off with the definition of what a nightmare is. Like when a kid is trying to fill space in an essay and he says super whatever is defined in the Webster dictionary as this will take up a few words but they I did learn that it comes from the word incubus and there's a band called incubus and that's what nightmare means hmm? and if you like the band incubus it's a nightmare I don't know what there's a band called Incubus. I know. Kind of like a rap. Yeah, I know. They Incubus. didn't really rap. They were big in they were Israel. They rap rock, but they were in that genre. Yeah, but what did he say about nightmare? What did I miss? It I says, missed a lot of... Incubus is a word that means nightmare. Ah, okay. Yeah. In a different language. I'm sorry. I'm... So this is a story... I didn't of... pay attention to a lot of things in the movie. Well, you didn't miss that much. Yeah. It's a story of eight people and two ladders. They start off by showing a person about to be interviewed for a TV set. Very meta. You're kind of not sure if this is a documentary or if it's a movie that just makes itself out to be a documentary, like a found footage movie. You soon realize that these are, if they're actors, they're really good at playing ordinary, they're boring, acting, yeah. somewhat annoying people. Not everyone, but some of them. So, it's eight people, voiceover accounts, a kid watching the news and the newscaster talking to him. He says, it'll be okay, Chris. One day we'll be back. Oh, I also learned that there's a St. Louis, Michigan. So, there's a couple, a couple of learning... I learned the first, two things in the first five minutes of the movie. And then, not a bunch else. Except for a lot of people that have nightmares, have some of the similarities for things that they see and experience yeah and that like uh, right in the beginning i wrote the note it's not a real documentary isn't it but i believe it is it wasn't that exciting like yeah it's a document i mean it's a it's interviews with people and they show reenactments with people that look vaguely like the people being interviewed so let's, let's talk about like really interesting things because probably that's what those people want to listen. Have you ever had a nightmare that you still remember? Uh, not, not that I was haunted by a, a crazy person or anything. But do you remember? I've had, I've had scary dreams. Tell us one. No, they're not of really anything happening to me. It's of me doing something that like terrible that I'm like, why would I have done that? Why? Like what? Like killing family members. What? Yeah. Oh my God. Cousins. I won't say which cousins. Oh my God. Tell me after that. Bad. Tell me after yeah. that. <laughs> well, they're cousin right now. If you're one of my listening. cousins, guess which cousins yeah. I was killing in my dream. The right one will nightmare. get not killing. So. Yes, the right one will get not killing. Yeah. Or I won't kill you. However, you want to speak about that. So that's like the crazy. That's a nightmare. That's definitely 
a creepy thing. I mean, I've had I've had dreams that that people have about falling. Oh yeah, that's something that is common. It's a scary thing. It's scary, but I wouldn't put it like as a nightmare because it's something that happens like fast and it's it's over. A nightmare. It's something that, like like do you know those dreams? Well, I that... fall in real time in my dreams. <laughs> I've for like eight hours. It's oh my god! Scary the whole time. No, so so. Do you know those dreams that like you want to move but you can't? You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, I I have dreams you're like that. Extremely tired, and you're like. It's not that I can't move. It's that I I've had dreams where I'm slowly moving. And yeah. I can't move fast enough to to do something. Yeah. I had a dream like that the other day, and it was a work related dream. <laughs> and I I work in the tourism industry and I dreamed that I left my vehicle and they left without me <laughs> and I was trying to get back to oh it my God. and I couldn't and it was very frustrating and then the next day they did I was, it having, a, purpose. I was having a real bad time and I wanted to leave in the middle of it but didn't happen that way. Oh. So we learned about... Hey, what's about me? I don't want to hear about oh, yeah. my, yes. my nightmares. Tell me gonna... your nightmare. So I don't I don't have nightmares. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Now, I don't remember like something that like came. I think that I did have... So I wrote it like later because I remember Just... that. Hey! <laughs> you said you don't remember it, but you... Go to the room. But you want to talk Go to the room. I'm going to talk it. with them. Explain it succinctly. We only have a half an hour. Okay. And I, I only want to talk and about the, 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 mov minutes. the movie is like very boring and like. Weird. I took notes for the whole time. Oh my god! The fact that you were asleep. Okay. I uh, I did have like a series of nightmares for a while that it made me like really hard time to go to sleep and stuff. I don't remember what age I was, but I had a dream that there is a fire in the building. I lived in Israel in a building. And I think it was like 10 or something like that. But I couldn't fall asleep for like many nights. And my mom still remembers that. I used to go to her room and I'm like, I can't, I can't. There's, I feel there's like, there's something happening. But I'm not sure if it was a nightmare or just like something, that, like a phobia or something. But besides that, I do remember one dream really clearly till today. I know that I was a kid when I had that dream, but it was so creepy that it's kind of like, I still have like the, the images in my mind. It was 20 years ago probably, but my aunt just moved to a new house and she built like a bath and it was a very nice uh, bathroom. And I had a dream, she had like a lot of rooms in the second floor and I had a dream that I'm going in the second floor and there's something is happening and I'm going to the, to the bathroom and there is an alien, like the, the real, that was creepy, but it, it looked so real. And he's inside of the bath, like, just enjoying a bath of a liquid soap. The, do you know the liquid yeah, soap that, like, yeah, looks like a galaxy? Soap. No, but the ones that look like galaxy, that they're, like, shining a little bit. Yeah. So, a lot of this, and it's, like, inside, and it was looking at me. But then I don't remember what happened next. I just remember that very clearly that I'm seeing him in the bath, inside of that soap. And I'm like, what? No. What is that? An and I still alien, remember that... It was an alien abduction. <laughs> and I had a dream that my sister is dead. It was funny. It was I, funny? Yeah, it's she so... She died in a funny way? No, I didn't see her before she died, but I went to my grandmother's house, and Dean, my other sister, was staying downstairs, and she was like, oh, what, like, do you know that Kedem died? And I'm like, what? <laughs> when? <laughs> she was like, yeah, like, last night, and... And it was very sad in the dream. I woke up, first thing that they did was to call her. And I told her, oh my god, you're okay, okay. I just had a dream that you're dead. And it, there is a super superstition. If you had a dream about someone that is dying, it usually may, means that like it's going to have like very long life. So if someone is telling you, oh my god, I had a dream that you died, good for you. Yeah. Also, if anyone has a dream that I'm dying, uh, I don't want to hear about it. So don't tell me about it. Why? What do you? What is that reaction? It's like when someone says, "Oh, you look like my friends that you don't know." She's like, "Okay, I'll just no, file that away." No, but it's a creepy thing. I had a dream that you died. Oh my god! <gasps> How? No. I don't How? know. You were just dead. Okay. Do you ever dream that you're killing me? No. Okay. Maybe tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> if you recommend another movie like this. Hey! Maybe. Uh, I mean, they did use some kind of cool special effects that were creepy. Back, the, back to their the, nightmares. The music and the editing was was good. And it was interesting, interesting to hear people's stories and, and the similarities of things that kept happening. And, like, feeling paralyzed, seeing shadow men, and then seeing aliens. So maybe you yeah. felt a little about this. Or shapes that would later be known as aliens and... 3D, 3D shadows that would vibrate at the end of beds. Uh, it is like, all the, the world of dreams is very curious, in my opinion. The world because, of dreams is Yeah, very because curious. we know, we barely know anything about it. Uh, it's like another yeah, dimension. You can't show footage of dreams. Yeah. So they try to recreate And you can it. do whatever you want in your dreams. Everything can happen. Well, except like... Read and write. What do you mean? Because all the letters are backwards. And what? Reading and writing. You can't say like, oh, I remember writing this whole thing and reading it in my dream. <laughs> Look it up. Anyway, this okay. is just interesting. So, this is guy Stephen. I mean, I'm not gonna name everybody, but the guy Stephen feels negative voices and emotions before he falls asleep. Feels an electric shock that signifies that's when he's going to be visited that night, and so after seeing the Hat Man, I mean uh, Shadow Man, he eventually people start seeing the Hat Man, which is like the Shadow Man but with a hat, and it looks like he's in charge and he's running stuff, and a lot of people have seen him. That many of the eight people interviewed for this have, and. It's just an ominous presence. A lot of them have memories of it back to young children, up to teenagers. Dreams that would travel with them when they moved places happen intermittently through their lives. And something cool is that Freddy? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. He's wearing the same hat? You gotta get a little closer because I'm not gonna hear you as well. What? I'm next to you. And yeah, but you're I'm speaking louder. softly. You're only I'm louder, louder when you're yelling at hey. me for correcting you. So Check it. I don't want to alienate our, <laughs> both of our YouTube viewers, but uh, people. One of my I'm going to start promote our videos with like I'm sharing. I'm I'm going to show my my. I'm going to take my shirt off. Yeah. It's not that excited though. <laughs> so. He's going to take his shirt off. My favorite, I'm wearing multiple shirts, so. <laughs> I mean, my favorite, one of my favorite parts is when they talked about movies and influence and, and yes, like maybe the Shadow Man was Freddy Krueger or maybe that's an unintentional thing or maybe because Freddy Krueger only kills people in dreams. He molests people in real life, but then vigilantes burn him to what he becomes. So he kills people in dreams, so that could be a take off of that and then there's uh, other aspects of sleep paralysis lore that have made their way into movies like uh, in the very beginning credit sequence of natural born killers something is like a shadow man it was one of the girls she's from Kentucky I was like that's a nightmare <sighs> like, I've been next to Kentucky You've been next to Kentucky? Yeah. Was, yeah, we drove like along was, the Mississippi River and we passed Kentucky. It's the only state that we didn't like stay over. Like at night. You know, it was the 15th state after Vermont. That's what I'm saying, a nightmare. <sighs> it's a nightmare if you're the British. So, some people try to change their lifestyle, they try to do prayer and exercise. A lot of people that were atheists become more religious they'll go, or they'll go to card readers or this one guy Chris sleeps with the TV on and then when that's not more he gets another TV he eventually fills his room with the TVs that are on and then the nightmares stop and then people kind of self-fulfilling prophecies you know they, they think they're gonna have the nightmare and then they have it that night, almost certainly. Uh, people have childhood-based 
nightmares about an elementary school friends that hands him over to the shadow man and does something to his balls. There's there's some weird Freudian stuff. Okay, now my so, turn. Yes. I just have a note. It doesn't. I just like thought a lot about nightmares and like dreams, and I just thought about that moment in dreams that you're having a bad dream. It doesn't have to be a nightmare, and you just realize that it's a dream, and you're still asleep, but you know that it's a dream, and then in that moment you can do whatever you want. And I like that moment. Yeah, I don't know if I've had, would that be a lucid dream where you're in control of things? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had that moment where I can just do whatever you want. What do you normally do when you have freedom in your dreams? Mm. Robbing a bank and killing people. No. <laughs> Robbing a bank and killing robbing, people. Robbing? Robbing a bank. Robbing a bank and robbing his shoulder. Yeah. No. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm just fixing what happened, like in a bad way, to a good way, to my good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people had pretty vivid dreams, like they were outside their body, watching themselves sleep and heavily breathe. And they can't breathe, they stop breathing, they see two shadow people in the room attacking them. Well, one guy, he was with a girl that he just moved in, and she told him she had these vivid dreams, and then he started having them. So I don't know if that's solidarity, a haunting, or maybe night terrors can be contagious. Hmm. I think that most of night nightmares and like night and, and the dreams in general, it's mostly in your head. And my best friend, Sean, when we were kids, she came to me one time and she was like, if you want to dream about something, just think about it like for a moment and then just like stop. And you're gonna dream about it, and it it works, yeah. So then, if there's something bad that they don't want to happen, so I just think a lot about it, and then start to like really think about it, and I know that I'm not gonna dream about it. So yeah. it's, and it works. It works like well, every time. I'm so. about to try that in five minutes because I took a Nyquil about an hour ago and and made and fast. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite dreams that was referenced in the movie was of uh, this guy Chris has a dream of people at the door and there's a 90s roller skating guy coming towards him and he shoots him with a gun and the sleep paralysis makes him stop and then he tries to pull out of it because people have recounted being able to get themselves out and then he felt like he had died. He never wanted to feel like that again. So he resigns to that one day he may not just wake up from it. He still wants to know more. He just wants to know what happened to him. And I had one time that I smoked weed. And that's how the movie ends. You had a dream uh, that you smoked weed? No. I did smoke weed. And then I tried to fall asleep. But to my, I closed my eyes and... Everything like started to like mix in my head and go back and it was like the worst nightmare in my life. And then since then I don't smoke. Since and you had a waking weed nightmare? Yeah, and then like once in a while I can like just take a how do you call it? Like a smoking sip. Shachta. Puff. A puff. Or yeah, dry. but then I like uh, sometimes it comes back to me and I'm like, no, I don't want that. Yeah. It's terrible. Also it makes me tired and feel um, yeah, I don't so know. I mean, there, there was something that, uh, that I found funny that there, there was the guy with uh, the two aliens that came to him and he started to talk about it and while he was talking so they showed like a video from like describe what actually happened and he was talking about those characters coming from the window and he was mentioning the window and the window and in the movie there was like a door there wasn't a, <laughs> a window and it's like where's the window yeah. and that and the guy from Vermont said that he used to live in JP in Jamaica Plan in Boston and he had that voice of a lady singing it was like the 
used to hear like voices and he said like I used to hear this lady singing I'm like oh, that's probably your neighbors mm. yeah that's how they build in Boston baby yeah yeah we can we can hear the the neighbors from from over there so we can hear them sneezing sometimes yeah, yeah. they're not elderly though no but there was a fun a funny part where a girl talked about her earliest memories was when she was a baby and she felt something come into the room and the night light was red, so the room was all lit up red. And then it happened to her when she was in college. And in college, she also had a red lamp. So it's like, maybe don't bring that lamp. That reminds you of your first memory being a nightmare. Yeah. But if you've ever had people in your life that have had trouble sleeping or sleepwalking or do weird shit, talk, yell things in your sleep... It's interesting. It's a it's an interesting movie to know about that there are people out there that have this, so you might be able to relate to them in some ways. I think it was a, it could have been a lot shorter. Probably turned out some of the people didn't. Some people didn't really contribute there, that there was, much. There was there was funny story of one of the the people. It's not funny, but. Uh, because I can understand how dreams can be very scary. But they had a dream that the cloth from the machines, the how do you call it? Yeah, them? like the prize claw, they pull yeah. the stuffed animals. So it die, like it catches his stomach or something, and he woke up or his balls. His balls. His balls, and he woke up in the morning and it was hurt. And I'm like, this cloth is harmless. Mm. Harmless. Yeah. Like it, it cannot like do anything to anything. They it barely like touch the the dolls. So. Yeah. He won two uh, last Halloween. I did. I won yeah. two Halloween dummies. Yeah, they were stuffed them. animals. Yeah. They're, so they're outside with us for Halloween. Yeah. I, and another thing, I did have nightmares after the first horror movie that I watched was 1994. I was four years old. My brother had a sleepover party with friends. There were ten. That was a good time to to watch horror movies with your friends. And my dad. Let me, like, you said that I can watch it with them. So, I did. And then I couldn't fall asleep for two weeks. My mom what was movie? super mad. The Bulb? The Blob. blob. The blob. blob. What is Yeah. I would never forget it. I still remember scenes from the movie. It was yeah. super... Like, it's not scary, but it's, like, super creepy for four years old. Because I remember, actually, like, every night that I was... I tried to fall asleep, and I kept, like, picturing the Blob coming to me and I'm like, ah, yeah. it is. Yeah, I remember watching movies and sleepovers and then waking up the next day and all my friends had gone home in the middle of the night because they were pussies and I could sleep through anything. So apparently I yeah. slept through that. Yeah. But we watched Tales from the Dark Side. That's a, that's a good one. It's a little anthology one. And there's a, one of the stories was based on a Stephen King book, which I didn't, or a Stephen King short story, which I didn't know till later. The Cat from Hell, which is pretty awesome. I want to watch it. But, yeah, sleepover party. Don't have this at a sleepover party, because it's not that fun a movie. Oh, yeah, not at it's all. It's more interesting if you're trying yeah. to come to terms with your own sleep problems. Yeah. But otherwise... It said horror in the description. Yeah. I, did, I didn't read any of the... Sort of a scary yeah. movie. It was well done. Documentary... Well, uh, and then filmed I and, <laughs> and edited with the music and stuff, but. And then my next note is the movie makes me wants to sleep, what? so I just f fell asleep after I wrote that. Yeah, probably a few times. Yeah. Oh, and there was one story that one of the guys was like, "Yeah, I had two girls in my bed," and then he started to say like, "What happened?" And I'm like, "You have two girls in your bed." No one cares about like what nightmare did you have? Like yeah. you enjoy, baby. Good job. It should be a dream. <laughs> You're in a good dream, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, and I had something. Oh, the red thing. Uh, no. Uh, well, what? <laughs> I'm trying to like understand. You're like, wait, I have something. <gasps> hey. Nope, it's over. That's how. Uh, See, Matt movie, needs to go to sleep. This video is ending just like the movie did. You know, on a kind Surprise. of a random note. We said it all. That's He's it. falling asleep. Look at the bags under my eyes. Oh,
It's a baby. All right, we still talk for 25 minutes. Yeah, good job, us. All right, thanks for following us. Like the video, share it on. They can't see you. Social media, Yale Matt recap. As, Yo, it, as no. it should say in the graphic at the end of this. Hint, yes. Hint. Yeah, Matt recap on Excuse all the me? social media fights. Matt, I do everything for that. I want you to know that you should appreciate me and you should worship me, Matt. Okay. Not you, you're okay. Thank you. He does nothing! Alright, bye! Hey! But tell him I want to say bye! So d d subscribe and like us and, and share. Spread the word, spread that face. Yay! Bye! <laughs>